Hey, fatty! Today's Thanksgiving, isn't it? Are you ready to have your feelings hurt for Thanksgiving? So, my first topic tonight is Thanksgiving equals gluttony. I made a post about this earlier today. It's just like every other fucking holiday. It's like we celebrate it with eating food. Like, what's that do? It doesn't help you fucking communicate with your family members. So I'm going to just talk about more of my experiences as of the last few years of Thanksgiving. Probably one of the biggest problems I have is now that I've been helping people with fasting, I see like the benefits from the fasting and the weight loss. It's fucking depressing anymore when I even go for Thanksgiving because I see everybody chowing down food and I just want to slap the fucking food right out of their face. Because a lot of times people are just getting more unhealthy, more unhealthy. Every time I see some of my family members I haven't seen for a while, they're fucking, it's like, and you can't do nothing about it. Like now I'm getting, I'm actually fucking getting into some people's heads now, but before you can't do anything and everyone's just eating this meal. And you know what's funny? It's like, I don't know if it's like this for everybody else, but I know it's going to be like this for a lot of you. It's like you show up at the place where you're going to have dinner, okay? Everybody's sitting around. There's no real talk. It's always just fucking bullshit, small talk. God forbid people actually talk about their fucking problems. You know, it's just this small talk. Everybody's sitting there anticipating this fucking meal like little fucking food addicts. You know, they're sitting there and they're waiting for the fucking pie and the fucking turkey and all this other bullshit. And then they eat. And everyone's chowing down, and then after everyone's done eating, everyone's fucking sleepy. And the conversation's poor. And like I said, like even I, everybody, every family's got fucking unhealthy people and stuff, but you know, you, you don't see somebody for a while, and next thing you find out, it's like, oh, your auntie or your uncle's got fucking cancer they found, or something like this, and you just want to tell them to fucking fast. And these are like your family members, so you gotta be fucking brutally if you're harsh with them it's gonna like you know it's obviously a lot of people understand this because family's the worst people to fucking deal with when it comes to this shit like it's fucking hard to tell some of my close family members i'll tell them right to their fucking face but for them to take you seriously like for an aunt or an uncle to take you fucking seriously when they you grew up with them changing your fucking diapers you know it's hard but they get fatter and fatter and fucking fatter and this is the thing like it's called thanksgiving and we just chow down you know, we just go fucking drain the grocery stores all this fucking food when all we should be doing is fasting. Wouldn't that be more of a celebration for all the stuff that you've actually received in the last 365 days and fucking st scarfing your face? And it's not even makes it not even special. It's just another meal. It's just another fucking fat ass meal. Okay? It's like just like your fucking friend's birthday party, just like fucking Christmas, just like fucking Easter, just like every other bullshit. There's nothing special because you are eating. Now, if you're fucking fasting, then it would be special because you're actually showing appreciation for things that you've got instead of just eating more. It's like, hey, let's celebrate how much we've had throughout the year by just blowing even more money on more food. And fucking eating more. And getting fucking feeling like shit. And the best part about it is that the next day, you're actually guilty. Maybe if something makes you feel guilty for doing it, maybe you shouldn't do it. The next day, people will be like, Oh, fuck, I wish I wouldn't ate that pie last night. Or I wish I wouldn't ate this fucking shit last night because I got the worst fucking heartburn ever. You know, and people are like all just fucking carb fucking drunk. They're all drunk on all the carbs and they just feel like shit. And then as soon as people fucking have their big feast, they just want to leave. Most people just want to leave. It's like we ate and then you're just, you're just going through the motions. Maybe you'll play a board game after sometimes, you know, but a lot of people just want to fucking leave. And I just find it fucking... It's a lot of these functions, all these main family functions, all, that's all it is anymore. These big family functions, people just fucking meet up and eat. That's it. So the only time you see these people is when you're just fucking eating. And they're getting fat. And you're upset because you can't do anything. Because your fucking uncle's getting fat as fuck. 
or your fucking auntie's getting got cancer. You know, because they're, they fucking drank their faces off their whole lives, or they fucking, maybe this is only my family, maybe my family's just fucking got fucking cancer and fucking fat drunks and shit. I'm pretty sure it doesn't though, it's fucking, everybody's got problems. So this is why, today, guess what me and Paul did for Thanksgiving? We went and fucking pumped iron, I fucking, basically we decided that he's not even going for the fucking Thanksgiving dinner, because he doesn't, we don't even want him around food. Like, how's that for motivation? I'm sick of people making up excuses. Oh, what about the kids? The kids gotta eat. You don't need to eat shit. Okay, you don't need to eat shit. You're just a bunch of fucking gluttons. Thanksgiving's like one of the worst. You're just fucking, you're just pegging out for what? There's no reason. There's no rhyme nor reason. Celebrate by fucking taking away. You know, celebrate by restricting. Restricting yourself from something. That's a celebration. Pull away. Don't fucking gorge your fucking fat ass. That doesn't help the cause. Okay, restrict yourself. Fucking actually give fucking thanks by maybe giving back. Okay? Thanksgiving is a fucking goddamn joke. It's a fucking joke anymore. It's just, you go through the motions, you fucking see the family, you fucking eat like pigs, that's it. There ends up being no value. There's no value anymore. Why can't you just go hang out with your grandma and not eat? You know, why can't you just go hang out and maybe have a game of cards with her or a game of fucking chess or something? Why, why does everybody have to fucking eat all the time? Okay, this is, and it's so mainstream. Everyone's chowing down as I sit here talking. You know, that's probably why there's not as many people watching. Everyone's chowing down, chowing down your fucking food. You know, these people that are involved in Oktoberfest, where is your fucking goddamn weights? Log your fucking weight. Because I noticed somebody put up the chart and there's no fucking, there's a lot of spaces that aren't full. Because people are scared to fucking put their fucking weight on there. That's why you fucking pansies. Fucking get your fucking fat ass on that fucking scale and fucking weigh yourself. You can weigh yourself tomorrow, too, after your fucking stupid fucking Thanksgiving dinner. Get your fucking fat ass on that goddamn scale and fucking suffer the consequence of what that scale is going to show. Gives you some slap in the face fucking feedback. For fucking being a fucking, just a fucking complete gluttonous fucking pig today. That's what that'll do. Okay, slap in the face. Focus on the fucking goal. You didn't need this meal. You know, if you fasted for seven days up to this meal, then maybe you deserve it. But it's nothing special for you average fatties. It's nothing, nothing special. It's just another fucking fat meal. You probably ate a big meal last night. You probably ate a big meal the night before. What's special about this? Or maybe you didn't eat last night because you're like, oh, I'll starve myself for fucking a whopping 18 hours so I can eat like a fucking pig at grandma's. You know, it's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. These fucking holidays and these celebrations using food as a celebratory fucking factor is a fucking joke. Fucking people need to stop fucking eating and being fat asses. And that's enough of my rant about Thanksgiving. Number two. This is going to be hardcore tonight, this one. Does the truth scare you, fatty? Does the truth scare you? Do I make you afraid when I tell you the truth? Oh, fucking, you're going to fucking die if you don't make a change? People keep calling me a fear monger. And you know what? Maybe I do fucking scare the fuck out of people. Maybe I deliberately do it. Maybe the system uses fear to make you think you have to eat. Maybe the system uses fear to make you think you have to use meds. Maybe the system uses fear to make you think you need all this bullshit. And maybe the only way I can fight the system is fucking by using fear in the opposite direction. You want to fucking hear fucking fear? You want some fucking fear? I've been taking it easy on you fuckers. Let's talk fucking truth. Let's talk truth. Okay, let's go. Let's really dumb it down. No one talks about the details. You know, what about the fat person that weighs fucking 400 pounds and fucking has, can't take a shit? You know, what about because they can't reach back to wipe their ass and they're smearing shit all over their fucking ass? How is that for fucking truth? How is that for truth? How, how about the fat person that can't sleep at night because they're so fucking fat they got to get hooked up to a fucking air breathing machine or a ventilator apparatus, whatever the fuck you call those things? Okay, what about that fat guy? What about that fat person that gets mocked in public and fucking everyone stares at you so you don't even want to leave your house? What about that? 
What about that fucking fat person that's got to go get lipo, that ends up going and getting liposuction or fucking bariatric surgery and fucking getting these fucking crooked surgeons in Mexico to saw their fucking guts open and reconfigure everything? How's that for fucking fear? Do you want to get that done? Do you want to get that done? How about the fucking fat person, fat guy that can't see his dick? How about that guy that can't have sex because he, he can't see his dick or use his dick? What about the fucking fat woman that can't see her fucking vagina? So fucking how is the fucking guy supposed to have sex with her when she can't even see her fucking vagina? She's got such a big gut. You know, what about this shit? How want to hear fucking truth? That's the truth. What about death? What about you dropping dead at 40 so you can't fucking be a father or a mother to your kid? How's that for fucking truth? How about dying in, the, in an embarrassing way? What if you just drop dead and fucking die in the fucking shower and, and void your bowels so you fucking, they find you and you're a fat, naked person in the shower with fucking 20 pounds of shit on the fucking bottom of the fucking bathtub? How's that for fucking truth? You want me to fucking scare you? I'll fucking scare you fat motherfuckers to fucking fasting. I'll fucking scare the fuck out of you. See? The fucking system uses fear to make you fucking... Basically to make you give them your paycheck. I use fucking fear to make you do something that fucking works. Okay? How's that for fucking being scared? What about you not being able to play with your kids? Maybe we'll fucking hit you where it really hurts. What about... You being such a piss poor parent because you're so fucking fat that you can't do anything with your kids that your kids start doing drugs at fucking 12 years old what, and, they, and you can't do anything with your kids. So now you give them their little cell phones because you, you need that cell phone to babysit them and then now they're on internet dating sites when they're 13 and then somebody's fucking calling them out of the house and they're fucking having sex at 13 years old. How's that? How's that fucking for you fat fathers? When you know that your little fucking 14 year old girl is off fucking some 40 year old guy because you're a shitty fucking fat parent that doesn't fuck can't do anything with your kid so they have no respect for you and all you got to do is give them their fucking cell phone and now they're talking to fucking people that are like people that they shouldn't even be fucking talking to. How's that for fucking truth? See all these things. I want people to, I want you fat people to be scared fucking shitless. I want you to be so fucking scared that you're fucking already fucking trying starting to fast right in the middle of this talk. You know, I want you scared fucking shitless of being fat. Fucking scared shitless. What about like, what about in your, at your fucking funeral? You know, you're, where they can't even get a big enough coffin for you. You know, where your fucking sides of your gut are hanging out over the sides of the fucking coffin. What about at your funeral when there's nobody there? Because you fucking didn't, you're so fucking fat. And you're so afraid of leaving the house that you fucking no, don't have any friends. So there's no one at your funeral. So nobody cares. Okay, you understand? Nobody fucking cares. Okay, like what? Like all these things. Fucking be fucking scared, motherfucker. Be fucking scared. I'll scare the shit out of you fucking 24 hours a day if that's what it takes. Fucking I'll scare the shit out of you. Okay, you understand? Like you understand... Maybe right now you're a woman that's five foot five, two hundred pounds, and you're fucking you're not so extreme yet that you're not so worried. But let's fucking scare you a little bit. What happens when you get up to three hundred pounds? What happens when you get up to three hundred pounds and your fucking gut is hanging down so low that you're fucking you can't even buy clothes that will cover the bottom of your gut up? How is that for scaring the fuck out of you? What what about when you fucking get so fucking fat? Like this fucking woman that I seen, oh my god, I was in the mall and I seen this woman. I could have swore she's going to keel over right there. She's in an electric fucking, one of those electric fucking little handy units you drive around the mall. She's got her kids with her. Her daughter looked like she was probably like 12 or 13 and her son looked young too. And they were basically babysitting her, okay? Their kids were babysitting her. This woman had to have been, fuck, she's probably as heavy as Paul. But Paul's six foot two. And this woman was like five foot fuck all. Okay, you understand how bad this is? Do you want to be a fat fucking slob? Do you want to be a fat motherfucking slob? Or do you want to do something about it? Okay, because here's the thing. And if you're a fat ass and you're fucking, fucking financially rich, that ain't going to get you anywhere. 
That doesn't mean shit. Okay? If you're fat, that doesn't mean shit. You need to get your fucking health back. Okay? Can you, like, here's the thing. This diet's so good. Fasting works so good that let's go back to that scary part about taking a shit. You don't even shit. You know when you're fucking fasting hardcore, you don't even take a shit. How perfect is that for a fat ass? Like, no fat person wants to have to sit on the toilet. You know, if you had your stupid six meal a day, stupid coach, and they have you eating your fucking dumb diet, and you have to take a shit twice a day or once a day, like, nobody wants to have to do that if they're 400 pounds, okay? Because taking a shit is a pain in the fucking ass when you're that fat. It's a whole fucking ordeal. It's a whole fucking ordeal, okay? It's a whole ordeal to take a shit. How fucking cool is it to just not eat? And then you don't need the shit. Because your body doesn't need to fucking shit when you don't eat. Food don't go in, fucking shit don't go out. Other than when you go through some cleansing effect throughout some of it. Okay? So do you see what I'm saying? How good this fucking works. The fasting works that good. I want people to be scared shitless. I want you to be scared. I want you to fucking visualize. You know, I want you to be so scared that when you meet somebody, you don't want them to see you with the lights on in your bedroom because you're fucking so embarrassed of your fat body. I, I don't want, fuck, I, I want you to fucking be scared shitless. Scared fucking shitless. See? But I can scare you because I'm giving you a fucking goddamn option to fix the problem. I'm giving you a proven fucking option that'll fix this fucking problem. Be fucking scared. Be fucking scared fucking shitless motherfucker. I want you guys to fucking be so fucking scared that you're fasting your fucking asses off for 30 days. I want to see the craziest fucking results from this October fast that you wouldn't fucking believe. And not just the fat people either. I want the fucking people of acne to be scared fucking shitless too. I want those people to be scared shitless because fasting will cure that shit in no time flat too. I want the fucking people with eczema. I want the people with every fucking health issue under the sun to be scared motherfucking shitless. Fucking scared shitless of the consequence of keeping that health ailment any longer. Okay? Like... Do you want to fucking, if, if you're having sex, do you want to have nasty ass eczema? You know, eventually you got to get naked. Eventually you got to get naked for somebody. Okay? So I don't care. You can cover up as much as you want. You can cover up as much as you want. But if you want to get fucking laid, eventually you're going to have to get fucking naked. And people are going to have to see you naked. They're going to have to see the acne. They're going to have to see your fat body. They're going to have to see the eczema. They're going to have to see the rashes. They're going to have to see everything. Everything. Now, are you fucking scared? Are you fucking scared yet, motherfucker? Are you going to start fasting tonight? Tonight? After your fucking stupid Thanksgiving dinner? Or maybe you fucking, hopefully you didn't even eat the dinner. Because you don't, now you'll have fucking heartburn and probably a massive breakout because some of you probably were fasting quite well. And now your stupid Thanksgiving dinner is going to make you have fucking a goddamn acne breakout and your eczema is going to flare back up because you just ate a pile of fucking grandma, fuck grandma's pie. You understand? The truth scares the fuck out of people because it's real. It's real. Okay? I'm talking all the issues. All the issues. Fucking yeast infections. Fucking hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Do you want, do you want to have hemorrhoids? Do you want to have hemorrhoids when fucking you're, maybe you're having some kinky sex and your girlfriend's sticking her thumb up your asshole? Do you want to have her to see massive hemorrhoids? Is that what you want? Well, if you don't want hemorrhoids, start fucking fasting, okay? It's going to fucking heal all that shit up within fucking weeks. All this shit, all this shit. You want to fucking be confident? You want to be fucking confident? Fucking fast. Be fucking scared. Fucking scared. Shitless. Shitless scared. Okay. Number three. Get in the fucking gym, fatty. Get in the fucking goddamn gym. There's no reason you can't exercise when you're fucking getting fasted. Me and Paul went to the gym today, okay? Paul is about 450 pounds right now. I had him on the fucking machines. We're getting in the gym. We're moving him around. 
Get your fat motherfucking ass in the goddamn gym. It's going to just help the cause. Okay? And if you can't fucking go to a gym, because maybe you, you can't... Fuck you. Fuck that, you can't afford it. You know why you can't... You can afford it? Because the fucking rec centers, even where I live, are free if you're living on the poverty line. So even some of you fat people that are broke, you can get a free membership. And if you're not living on the poverty line, Poverty line, you have enough money to buy a fucking membership at that point. Get your fucking fat ass out of your basement and into the fucking gym. Show yourself. Show yourself. This is confidence building 101. If you're scared to go alone the first time, find somebody to go with you. Obviously, when I first started going with Paul, he would have been scared to go by himself. We've talked about this. But when I'm there with him, no one he doesn't fucking worry about it because I'm there with him. And then we just own the fucking gym. We're just like the fucking bosses in the goddamn gym when I'm with them. Okay? So fucking, if you don't want to go in alone, find somebody. It's not about, I don't want to hear your stupid fucking excuses like, eh, I don't like the gym. I don't want to go to the gym. Shut the fuck up and go in there just for the self-development. I don't want to hear your fucking crybaby bullshit. Go in there just for the self-development. Get out in public places. Show your fucking fat ass. Show yourself. Show yourself, okay? I've talked about this before. The fattest people, you don't even see them because they're so fucking fat that they fucking stay in their house. You don't even fucking see the fattest people, okay? Get your fat ass in the fucking gym. Tonight, Paul's actually making a post and he's going to show that we are fucking pumping some iron, okay? We're fucking, I had him doing rows and shit. Like, move around for fuck's sakes. Like, you, you can't hurt yourself exercising, Okay, anything, especially when you're super fat, anything's a help. If you can walk, good, go walk. Okay, go do something. Fast your fucking balls off and go fucking do something. You want to lose some crazy amounts of weight? You want to get real crazy with weight loss? Don't eat and exercise. Then you're going to roast body fat. Roast. Because I was trying to tell Paul even, even though he's like 500 pounds to start, him sitting around originally, like now we're going to the gym. Him sitting around, if we lost a pound of fat a day with him sitting around, we're doing pretty good. I can lose weight, I can lose weight way faster than Paul. Like if I blow up, if I let myself fatten up to 200 pounds, and then I start a hardcore fast and start training, I'll lose three pounds a fucking day. Like I can lose weight so fucking fast, it'll blow your mind. Blow your fucking mind. Like if my brain was in one of your fat asses bodies, you don't even have a, you don't even understand how fast I could transform myself. You don't even have a clue how fast I, it can be done. You fucking fast straight through. You do a complete fast and you start fucking exercising every day. The fucking fat will melt off you even faster. You can't fucking get better results than that. Okay. Don't be scared of getting in the gym. Get your fat fucking ass in the gym. If you have to reach out to somebody, by the way, my buddy Joe that's running my fucking YouTube channel, subscribe to my fucking YouTube channel. This video will be on there afterwards too. Joe, there's a link that we're going to be putting up where people will be able to find other snake dieters. So you can put basically where you live in this link and people are going to be able to find other snake dieters. So then you can go find some fat snake dieter to go to the gym with. How perfect is that? Okay, this is the, you can, you know, the amount of weight you can lose is just mind boggling if you fucking have the fucking ambition to not eat. Like Paul's on like day five again now because we had like three chicken shit refeed days where we ate like cucumbers and some watermelon. And like we're fucking fast and straight through. Like if Paul can do it, you can do it. Okay, if Paul can do it, you can do it. And if you can't do it, you're a fucking pussy. If I can get Paul into a mainstream gym and I can get him fucking on them machines pumping iron, you have no fucking excuse, motherfucker. You have no fucking excuse. And I'm not just talking about the fat people either. I'm talking about you other people that don't think you're that fat, but you actually are. Or even some of you people that have like skin issues that don't want to be seen in public. Okay? Like, okay, Paul's like fucking 450 pounds. Okay? You're fucking, you got, if you got acne, it's the same idea, the fear of judgment. Back to what I was saying at the start of this talk. Yeah, 
Fuck, I use fear mongering as one of the best fucking tools I use to scare the fuck out of people to get them to do shit. Just like fucking the system uses fear mongering. Okay? But what the system does is they use the fear of judgment to control you. Because they know your first world little bitch asses are a bunch of pussies. So they use the fear of judgment to control you. See, I use it as well. But I use it in the other way because I know that I can solve the problem. Okay? You see, I, try, I want you to beat that fear of judgment. I, I use the fear of you being fat and the consequences of that. The effects of that. What, what's that going to do to you? They're using the fear of judgment to make you do what they want. Basically, eat more food and take their fucking meds. Because you need their meds because you can't handle anything because you're a little fucking first world bitch and you can't handle any fucking actual issues. You can't handle any fucking... You can't handle anything. Like, people nowadays are just complete pussies. Me and one of the ladies that's a nurse, a friend of mine, were having this conversation last night. Like, they can't, people can't handle any sort of social engagement. It's like they're all nervous and shit. Every little thing... You know, they gotta, like, everything. People are pussies. I'm trying to make you tough as fucking nails. I'm trying to make you people tough as nails, okay? I don't want, you're fat and unhealthy and sick because you're a fucking pussy. I'm trying to make you tough. I'm trying to make you tough and rugged like you should be, okay? People, fat people are pussies, fucking People with health issues, usually they're pussies because they shouldn't have the health issue unless they're fucking pussy and giving in to the fear of judgment for some reason, okay? I'm trying to help you become tough. Fasting makes you fucking tough. Fasting's not just about fucking losing weight either. Like I say, all the health issues, not to mention the spiritual level, it makes you tough as fucking nails. Because here's the thing. Our little first world, our little first world bullshit fucking society we live in, the reason everyone's fat and sick is because we have too much fucking money and we have too much easy access to food and we're soft and then you become an addict because you're content in your little bullshit, like your little content Thanksgiving fucking dinner, okay? Not having the dinner makes you tough. So coming to the dinner, you're just average. You're just an average pussy, okay? Not having the dinner makes you tough. See, this is the thing. And this, our first world, our first, our situation, our societal situation is what's making us fat and sick because we're just such pussies because we don't have to face any pain. We don't have to face any fucking pain anymore. We're not forced to face pain. See, what I'm doing is trying to get you to basically create a situation where you got to take a little bit of pain in the, in the way of hunger or things like this with the fasting. Because you see, here's the thing. If I walked up to you and slapped you upside the face right now and you're like this, this worry wart and you're worrying about your first world bullshit problems, okay? And I just slapped you right upside the fucking head. For about 10 seconds, you wouldn't be worried about anything. You'd just fucking be thinking about that slap upside the head. You understand? That little bit of pain, that little bit of discomfort. See, people don't go through any discomfort anymore. They need their meds. They need all their fucking bullshit. They need their little food. They need their little coffee hit. Then you're fucking fat. And then you're fucking unattractive. And then fucking nobody wants to have sex with you. And I'm not talking about the fucking exception. Don't start telling me how everyone wants to have sex with fat people. Shut the fuck up. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Okay? And that's where I fucking scare the fuck out of you. Okay? You want to fucking get in a relationship with somebody that's got some value? You got to fucking work on yourself. You got to get those private victories. You got to get those small private victories. Get in the fucking gym. Okay? It's easy. Just go and start doing something. I don't even care if you went to the gym and stood there. Just go in there just to get in there. Just to get yourself out in public. That's probably a better that's probably a better win than even exercising the first day. Just get yourself into the fucking gym and face the fucking judgment from all those motherfuckers that are going to be staring at you because they don't hate you. Some of them probably think you're fucking gross. That's fucking part of the course. You got fat. It's your it's not anybody's fault but yours. Okay? I will hit that nail on the head though. Just because I said that about it's your fault. Here's the thing. Your 
I wrote this down, actually. Uh, fuck, where is that now? Addiction is more powerful than reason. Okay, so I just want to hit that on the head. The reason I have like a little bit of a soft spot for you fatties is because I understand that addiction is more powerful than reason. So when people are like, just stop eating or just stop doing this or stop doing that, it's a little harder than that because people's addiction is so strong. It's like t try to tell a heroin addict to just stop heroin. You think the heroin addict's an idiot? You think he doesn't know that it's killing them? Of course they understand it's killing them. But the addiction is so strong they don't fucking care. So that's why I need to motivate you. Because if it was that easy, you would just do it on your own. That's why I need to motivate the fuck out of you by scaring the fuck out of you and motivating you that way by attacking you where it hurts. Like sex is a big deal. Fucking not being able to raise your kids properly is a big deal. Fucking just how you look in general public is a big deal. I scare the fuck out of you so I get the fucking results. And I don't even need to try to scare you. The truth scares you. I just speak the truth. Okay, you listen to me, you're fucking scared. Because nobody wants to fucking be that way. Nobody wants to be a fucking fat ass that's not attractive. Okay? They don't. They don't. See, fix it. And this is how you fucking fix it. I've gave you an idiot proof fucking method of fixing this problem. You fucking drink fucking salt water and don't eat. How fucking hard is that? How hard? Okay? It's fucking free. It's fucking free. Salt water, don't eat, fix the problem, be attractive, get fucking laid, raise your kids properly, fucking build confidence, have some true self-development. Don't be a food addict because you're not going to be a food addict anymore because this is the only, fasting is the only way to beat food addiction. We all know that. Every other fucking goddamn way of eating under the sun doesn't beat the problem, which is the food addiction. But that's actually not even the true problem. The problem is your underlying lifestyle is what made you a food addict in the first fucking place. Like fucking the fear of not having money because you got to keep up to the Joneses. So now you're working a job you fucking hate. I've talked about this shit a million fucking times. It's like I'm rapping this shit now okay so number four wherever I wrote that down shut the fuck up and start fasting I'm gonna bust this one today everyone keeps bringing up these fucking stupid excuses shut the fuck up and start fucking fasting I don't care about your stupid fucking excuse. It's like, I got this, or I got that. I can't fast because of this. I can't fast because of that. And then you're asking 50,000 questions. Shut the fuck up and just do it. Shut up and fucking stop eating. Shut the fuck up. Here's the truth. Here's the brutally blunt truth as far as fasting goes. As far as fasting goes, like the exception, like, say if there is an exception, to somebody that fucking maybe can't fast for days on end or whatever because of some real health issue, which I haven't even found one yet other than if your fucking organs are torn out of your fucking body. But with other things, I don't care about the fucking exception. I don't fucking give a shit. I, I do not care. I do not care, okay? Basically what I'm saying is this. If there's a method out there if there's a method, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe you'll start fasting and maybe you could fucking die. You could die walking your dog, okay? You could die. Maybe you could. Maybe you die. Maybe you fucking start fasting. I haven't had anybody die yet, but maybe you could fucking die. You could die taking your stupid fucking meds. You could die fucking going and getting fucking an anesthetic. You could die fucking doing anything. You could die driving your car. But here's the fucking truth. Fasting works so well that if there was a million people and 10 people died and 999,990 fucking cured all their health issues, I don't give a fuck that 10 people died. I don't care. I don't fucking care. If you can save almost a million people and 10 people are the exception, 
I'm not going to stop preaching this because 10 people out of a million died. Because who the fuck knows what happened? I don't fucking care about the fucking exception. I don't fucking care. Read my fucking lips. If you got something that works that good, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let one or two or four or ten exceptions fucking put a fucking stick in the spokes of my bicycle. I don't fucking care. You know what? I've talked about this before, and it'll happen. Guaranteed it's going to happen. Somebody's going to fuck something up. They're going to have some nasty-ass health issue, and they'll drop dead. Maybe it was from, maybe it was because they fucked up the protocol. Who knows? Who fucking knows? But this shit works so good that if fucking there's two weird deaths or 10 weird deaths out of a million people, I do not give a fuck. Because you know what? If you want to talk about the exception, they're selling you drugs right now that kill people every day. And they're selling those drugs legally for fuck's sakes. Right over the counter. And I guarantee you the odds with the fasting are a lot better than that. You know, there's people dying every day from some stupid drug, some fucking opioid. You know, every day. And they don't say shit. They don't say shit all as they do, all as these people do, is they have their infomercials at night that say, oh, here's the great, here's the, this shit's gonna fucking give you a fucking boner. It's like, oh, but here's the side effects. And then the small print has got 5,000 things. Every one of those things can fucking kill you. But it's fine. Fuck it, they're making nothing but money off this fucking boner juice, whatever you want to call this shit. You understand? They fucking don't give a fuck about the exception, so why the fuck should I give a fuck about it? I don't fucking care. If you're going to help the greater good of society and fucking five people die, sure as shit, sure as shit, somebody will die and will be like, fuck, this person was following the snake diet protocol, drinking salt water, and they'll get all this publicity... And you know what I'll do about it? I'll be dead honest. It's fucking one person. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. Because you know why? They fuck something up or whatever, but it's one out of thousands. If you're helping thousands, you don't stop what you're doing because of one, the cost of one or two or four people. You don't. Okay? That's what pussies would do. That's what a fucking coward would do. It's almost like having the cure for cancer. And you cure a million cases of cancer, but five people died for some oddball reason when you tried to cure their cancer. So what are you going to do? Fucking just stop curing fucking millions of cases of cancer because five people died? No! Unless you're a fucking cowardly little bitch-ass pussy, you're not going to stop fucking doing this. Like, this is the whole fucking problem. And then people will bitch. Like, I remember this one time. Some girl ran her mouth. This is back when I wasn't nearly as popular as I am now. She's like, oh, my friend tried the snake diet and got fucking heart palpitations. Like, I don't fucking give a shit. Fuck, you fucked something up or else you're fucking out of shape. And plus heart palpitations. I've talked about those lots. They're common as fuck. People that get drunk get heart palpitations. But, like, look at booze. Look at booze. Like, you want to talk about the exception? It's like they, they openly sell booze. There's a liquor store at every fucking corner. And somebody will die from alcohol poisoning. And that won't get any, that won't change anything. But somebody will die from drinking salt water. And I'll be up fucking shit creek. But they can't do fuck all to me because I don't get any money. All they can do is throw me in jail for what? Nothing. Because I'm telling people to fucking drink water and two products that you can buy off the fucking shelf at the grocery store for fuck's sakes. You understand? This is, it's fucking bullshit. So back to the whole point. What was the whole fucking point? Fuck. Uh, Shut up and start fucking fasting. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna die. It's one in a million. You got the same odds as getting struck by fucking lightning, for fuck's sakes. You know, that's the exception. I don't, fucking care about the exception anybody that tells me anything i'm just gonna be like start fasting don't even don't even tell me your story i don't care i don't fucking care start fucking fasting the only people i do care about if they came to me is people that might have fucking their kidneys removed or some shit or fucking complete kidney failure 
That, but then that's because I told you before. Anybody can fast. Everybody can fast unless, unless they have had organs torn out of their fucking body. Okay? If they've been, if their body's been tampered with, they, or if they have organs that aren't working. That's the only people. Everybody else can fucking, and even the ones with the orange organs torn out, they can still fast. They'll still get wicked results. But you'd have to juggle around the salts a little bit if you had complete kidney failure. You'd have to fucking do a little bit of homework, maybe, and fucking maybe take some fucking actual fucking do some due diligence on your fucking massive health issue. That's another thing that pisses me off. It's like I know way more about diabetes and diabetes than, than diabetics. Like that's an, that's fucking stupid. How, why I should not know more about diabetes than a diabetic. That's how fucking lazy people are because they're so comfortable just taking advice from their stupid fucking doctor and getting their stupid fucking meds. They don't even ask questions. See, this is the problem. Nobody asks questions. Okay, nobody. Nobody asks questions. They're too scared. They just trust a doctor because, because society's built these doctors up to be so fucking smart that they just trust them. It's just like, oh, you're a doctor, so I should believe everything you say. Fucking most of these guys are idiots. They don't know anything. As soon as a doctor says anything negative about fasting, they're a fucking bonehead. They're a fucking bonehead. Okay, your stupid doctor's an idiot. And also, if your doctor says you can't fast, or it's gonna fuck something up, like, or it's like one doctor, one girl told me her doctor told her that fasting would fuck up her liver. Like, what an idiot. Like, don't go back to the guy. The guy's an idiot. He doesn't know anything. Okay, he's a fucking mainstream fucking idiot. He's an imbecile, for fuck's sakes. That's why they don't get any, any results. That's why, see, do you understand why I even exist? If doctors are so fucking great, people like me wouldn't even have came to be. Okay, people like me, and I'm not the only one. I'm just fucking crazy. I'm super brash. There's other people out there that preach the same shit. They're just not as ballsy and they don't talk as much as me and yell and swear and shit. Because I get angry. Because the system is so fucking corrupt and broken. You see... Everybody buys into these fucking doctors. It doesn't mean anything. Even the women, there's a few women that give me, like me and them talk about things to do with like, you know, electrolytes and shit. And they're RNs. I don't give a fuck that they're an RN. I care because they're smart and they've actually done some real research. I don't give a fuck about their stupid title. Your title don't mean shit. You can stuff your fucking title up your fucking ass. Your title doesn't mean a fucking thing in my world. Okay? What you know means something. What your experience is means something. Your fucking stupid title doesn't mean shit. Like, there's people that are so fucking arrogant, they'll get out of med school, and they're technically a doctor, and they think they're fucking smarter than some average Joe like me. Fuck, give me a break. These guys don't know shit. Like, just look at the people I'm handling. Like, even look at Paul. Here's the thing. When you're an awesome fucking coach, see, Paul is a rarity, you know? He would be like that one in 10,000 or that one, yeah, he'd be probably that one in 10,000 people that's the extreme case of obesity. And you know what? It takes that fucking one in fucking 10,000 fat loss coaches to fucking solve his problem, which is me. You understand? You look at all the fucking fitness trainers and shit out there. All their clientele is pretty mainstream. None of them have fucking clients like Paul. They're, they got mainstream clients because they're a mainstream average trainer. It's the fucking crazy ass awesome motherfucking trainers and fat loss coaches and motivational coaches that have the crazy fucking clients that are the rare case. Because we're the only ones who can give these people help. Okay, your mainstream doctor... He ain't going to help anything. He's just going to give you meds and then you're going to fucking fuck your liver and kidneys. And then you're going to need more meds for a fucked liver and kidneys. Just need a sip. So yeah, like I said, we're not having Thanksgiving dinner tonight. Because it's motivation. 
Even like Paul not having dinner, you know, it's motivation all you fat asses. I uh, like, and that's another thing. How many fucking mainstream doctors, <laughs> how many mainstream doctors are chowing down on Thanksgiving dinner right now? And they have a bunch of fat fucking obese clients. Like that's a good role model. You know, that's a good role model. You got to lead by example for fuck's sakes. This is why these fucking people are useless. They get no results. They get no results. The best results you'll actually find will be on massive groups on Facebook. The groups that are getting the best results, that's going to be the best people to listen to. Because results talk bullshit walks, motherfucker. I've fucking said this a thousand times. I don't care about your fucking titles. You can stuff your title up your fucking ass. Up your fucking ass. Fuck, I'm sick of people being like, I'm a doctor. Like, even go, that one guy, you know what? I didn't bust his balls too bad because he's kind of a fucking pussy and didn't really bust my balls as hard as he should have. There's a guy that made a YouTube video about me. His name's Fledge Fitness. Fledge? So if you're watching this, fucking you should go on that fucking thread and blow it up for me. He made a fucking video called uh, something snake diet. If you go on his list of videos, it's right at the top. He's got about 22,000 subscribers, but he didn't watch any of the shit I said. He was telling, fucking saying in the video that I was promoting people to dry fast for 30 days straight, the idiot. But there was people in the comments, this one woman, she's like, well, I'm a nurse and my opinion is this. See, they start the fucking, they start their stupid rant out with their stupid fucking title. So I'm like, when I read this shit, it's like, oh, you're a nurse. Okay, I don't fucking care. Next. And then I read what they say and it's just a bunch of mainstream bullshit. And then I even creep their profile sometimes and see that they're a fucking fat ass. So then you know their opinion means nothing. Like, fat people's opinions on weight loss means zero. Zero. Fucking zero. Okay? If you're fat and you're trying to give me advice on fucking weight loss, shut your fucking trap and go eat a fucking goddamn fucking pumpkin pie, you fat motherfucker. Like, zero. Okay? You can't... Don't fucking tell me how to fucking help people lose weight. Are you out of your fucking mind? Don't fucking even talk to me about this. You're the one I should be busting your balls for fuck's sakes. You're trying to talk like you're fucking so a somebody that knows how to lose weight? Shut the fuck up. You're, here's how good, that, you know what? A guy like Paul, here's, they wouldn't even be able to fucking actually act normal standing around a guy as big as Paul. They wouldn't even act normal. They'd be like fucking weirded out. They wouldn't even be able to handle it. Okay? They wouldn't even be able to fucking handle it. It's like, what are they going to do? They're going to stare. That's what they'll do. They'll stare. You think one of them fucking motherfucking goddamn fucking mainstream nurses or doctors, if they seen me and Paul in the gym, do you think they'd even dare approach us? Fuck no. They wouldn't even say a word. They'd fucking be dodging that situation like there was a fucking, like, with their life. Like, they wouldn't want nothing to do with that. Like, even if a really heavy person came into their office, you know what they would do? Hey, now we'll sign you up for bariatric surgery so you can go get majorly fucked up by another idiot doctor. Fuck. The only thing a bariatric surgeon's good at is fucking giving you surgery and not killing you. That's it. As far as the actual results from the surgery, it's fucking detrimental. It's the worst results you've ever seen. I give them credit that they can cut you open and, and then sew you back up without killing you. That's about the only thing they're good at. It's like, good job. Good job. Good job. You can cut people open and sew them back up without killing them. Good job. It's just a shame that they didn't need to be cut open in the first place, you fucking idiot. You understand what I'm talking about? Like, this shit, it's so ridiculous. This shit is so fucking ridiculous. And then you got these fucking, like, I can't stand a lot of these mainstream fucking trainers. Like, I had these, this one girl, obviously you guys seen she was bad-mouthing me. She wrote a whole blog about me. If, if somebody like Paul went to her for help, she wouldn't even help him. What's she gonna do? What is she gonna do? What's her little fucking fragile personality going to fucking do in the real world? It's not going to get any results. It's going to be fucking, she's going to be fucked. She'll be like, 
she'll be sitting there beside herself trying to figure out how to even fucking handle fucking hanging out with the guy, with somebody like that. You know, these people are fucking pussies. Like, welcome to my world, motherfuckers. This is the, so what's going to happen here? Paul's going to fucking lose all the weight, you know? And then he'll probably be fucking famous. I'm pretty sure he's going to be famous. We'll both be famous. And then everybody involved in this whole fucking thing is going to be famous. And then we're going to be on stage in front of fucking crowds the size of Tony Robbins doing talks about weight loss. Because truth be told, I'll tell you right now, if I had a guy like Paul, myself, maybe somebody with some really bad skin issues, uh, maybe somebody that fucking beat their cancer with fasting, say five, six people, and I fucking went to the Edmonton fucking football stadium, and we're so fucking mainstream by then, and it was like this fucking cheap event, how many people do you think would show up to that? It would be packed. It would be packed. Who wouldn't go to a fucking talk about how to lose weight and make weight loss look like a joke? Fuck, everybody's fat. Everybody wants to fucking go do a talk, go watch a talk like that. Why do you think my group's so fucking big? You know, it's going to hit 100,000 probably in the next month now because I finally cracked down and I started making people add their fucking friends to the group to get my help. Fuck. By the way, yeah, to mention that, see, people, people are so fucking entitled, even on that group. Like, it's like some people are even like, hey, can you do the talk an hour earlier for me? Like, fuck you. Like, fuck, I'm doing it for free. I'm not going to fucking change my fucking goddamn schedule by an hour for you when I got 50 fucking, like, you know, when I got all these people fucking watching it at this time. You know, and like people actually bitched. People were bitching about me charging them friends. I'm charging you friends, you fucking idiot. I'm not charging you any money. Like, the fucking results I get, some of the people that I'm helping would pay a fucking fortune for me to fucking coach them. A fucking fortune. You have no idea. I'm making people pay with their fucking goddamn Facebook friends for fuck's sakes. And people are still bitching you entitled sons of bitches. Shut the fuck up. If I ever see anybody bitch about fucking free help again and just... and. And we're making you fucking do shit on social media for us. You're fucking... I'm going to block your ass from that fucking group. Shut your fucking trap. Fuck, if you're you're lucky I'm not making you add 2,000 fucking friends for my help. And you know what? There's just people that would do it. Because why wouldn't you? We're changing people's lives in a week. In a week. Like some of the results are unheard of. The results are unheard of. That's because fucking crazy personalities get crazy motherfucking results. End of the story. That's end of story. Personalities get results. I don't know if I ever talked about that movie Lean On Me back in the day. Where, uh, fuck, who was the actor again? Oh, fuck. It was the school of black kids. School was completely fucked. Full of drug addicts. Morgan Freeman. He was the actor. They had a bunch of pussy-ass, bitch-ass principals and teachers. And they were so fucked up. That they had all these drug addicts running the school, basically. And finally, they said, fuck it. And they had to go find Morgan Freeman because he's just this fucking asshole that just cleans house. And they hire him, and he cleans up that school. He fucking fires all the fucking teachers that are crybabies. He starts booting drug dealers out of the fucking school, like, one after the other. He doesn't fuck around. He gets results. This is what you need. This is what fat people need. They need the motivation. They need the fucking verbal abuse. The verbal abuse. You know, this is what gets results. Fucking sugarcoating shit doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. You understand? Nothing. Nothing. Fuck. And it was actually fucking, you know, every, look at everybody. Everybody in the past. Anybody that got real results that there's statues of, these people are fucking hardcore motherfuckers. This is what gets results, okay? Like, I got people that fucking were working for Beachbody getting a hold of me now. And, like, I got a girl, more, like, lots of women. But there's a couple that had big followings on the internet. And they realized that Beachbody was a fucking joke. And they actually added at least 500 friends for me to that motivation group. And that would have basically... Fuck their business with Beachbody. 
Now that is fucking awesome. When they're willing to fucking say, fuck Beachbody, we're going to start adding these people that we probably tried to sell Beachbody to. We're going to start adding them to the snake diet group. That is fucking awesome. These people are actually trying to help others. They're not just trying to make a buck on their stupid fucking beach body. Fuck people are greedy. One girl that I used to fucking train, she still to this day is trying to make money on beach body. She won't fucking fast because she's fucking lazy. You know, fuck, she still fucking drinks booze. And I bust her balls. And she still won't give up beach body because she wants the freedom. See, it's not about being greedy so much. People want the freedom, but it ain't gonna happen with the fucking your mediocre beach body product. It's fucking trash. Just like everything else. All these diets, everything, all of it is junk. If it's not a fasting focused lifestyle, it is fucking junk and mediocre. All of it. It's junk. Junk. Okay? Six meals a day. So what's the biggest problem with that? Other than being catabolic as fuck. I told you before. It makes you shit. Fat people don't want to have to take a fucking shit. Okay? Why would you want to take why would you want to have to sit on the toilet if you fucking weigh 400 pounds? You know? You know how fucking big of a pain in the ass that would be? Like I said, you're so wide, there's no room. You know, you're trying to wipe your ass, you're smearing shit all over your ass cheeks. Like you don't want to have to shit. I'm giving you the best possible method to cut body fat you don't even need to take a shit how easy is this you do nothing except get your fat ass in the goddamn gym to speed up the fucking process okay that's it all these people watching subscribe to my fucking youtube channel i want to bust the balls i was being a little bit of a pussy at the very start of this because i wasn't warmed up i want to talk just for one more minute about thanksgiving now like i said i fucking like even last Thanksgiving, my one auntie, you know, I found out she had some cancer uh, somewhere on her lung or something. And that, like, it's, it's fucking depressing. It's fucking depressing when I see that my family is fucking getting fat and fucking sick from these preventable motherfucking issues that fasting can fix. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And this year, I decided I wouldn't go home for Thanksgiving dinner. And I would hang out with Paul because he, I, we wanted him not even to go to, even to the dinner because we're trying to fucking get results and lose fucking weight and motivate all you fuckers. So this is a big deal. I don't think I've missed Thanksgiving for fucking quite a while. Like I've always usually show up and I don't live in my hometown anymore, you know? But like this is the fucking thing. I hate seeing it. Everyone's getting old and sick and it's fucking depressing when I know they can just fucking fast. And that, and that shit comes up when we're talking over Thanksgiving dinner. It's like, oh, I got a skin issue. Or, oh, I'm, I have to go to the doctor now because I, maybe I got diabetes or I got high blood pressure. I got this and that. Like, this is my family. Same as your family. Fuck. I hate hearing this shit. It's preventable fucking shit. Fuck. One of my family members is going to watch this and fucking have a fit. I don't fucking care. I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Most of them know what I'm up to now anyway. It doesn't matter. But there's a few people specifically that I want them to fucking start fucking fasting. These are people that have been in my life since I was a little kid. All they need to do is fast. And some of them are even religious for fuck's sakes. And fasting is part of the religion. But the religions, we know all about the religions nowadays. They're a bunch of fucking soft ass, pussy ass, bullshit fucking groups now. Because they, the main part of the religion was the part where people used to fast. Because fasting puts you in this state of being. Without the fasting, the religion is a fucking joke. Your religion is a fucking joke without the fasting. Like, look at how bad is it. You know how many Christians are in the United States? It's fucking insane. Everybody's a Christian. But everybody's fat. Go figure. These real religious people that are following everything to a T and actually fasting the way they should be and actually practicing thanksgiving and giving real thanks by not being fucking pigs and eating, these people wouldn't be fat. These religions are fucking broken. You see, these religions in the first world are becoming a bunch of fucking fat, lazy pigs. These religions are a joke. They're a joke. This fucking snake diet's a fucking better fucking religion than the religions. 
Fuck, I'm not even going to go down that road. Everyone keeps calling this a cult and shit because I'm so hardcore about booting people out. It's not a fucking cult. We pre- I preach shit that works. What I'm doing is I'm fucking getting rid of the enablers. The enablers cause me nothing but trouble. They don't help my cause. Enablers piss me the fuck off. And I fucking cut them out. They're like cancer. I just cut them out. Bye. Bye, enabler. Get the fuck out of here. And then half the time they come back asking me for help because usually they're a fat fucking enabler. And then they're asking me for help like two months down the fucking road. Fucking hypocrites. Fuck. You understand? The religions are so broken. The religions are broke. Broken. Okay? They're soft. They don't make you do anything that you should be doing. They don't make you fast. Fasting is religion. Fasting is the fucking religion. That's when you get to the cool state of being. And when you're healthy. And when you don't care about fucking stupid first world problems. Like fucking money and keeping up to your neighbor. And having the nice car. And having all this bullshit. Okay? The fasting is the religion. Why do you think every religion in history, the biggest part of it was the fasting aspect? They just didn't, a lot of those religions didn't understand what fasting was doing on a scientific level. They talk about these fasts and how people would, you know, see something like, you know, they'd, they'd go into like this crazy state of being. It's because of fucking forcing that ketosis from the fasting. Fasting is religion. Without fasting, your religion is just a fucking joke. Your religion is a fucking joke without fasting. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this shit up. Subscribe to my fucking YouTube channel. Go check out my Instagram page if you want to. I put some clips there. Go on the motivation group. Uh, Paul's going to have a sweet ass post up tonight where he's going to show him pumping iron. He's going to be pumping iron. If he can do it, you can do it. Shut your fucking trap. Get in the fucking, get your fat ass in the fucking gym. Okay? And also, if you want one-on-one -on -one help from me over voice memo, I always talk over my voice memos. If you want one-on-one -on -one help from me, you're going to be adding at least 500 of your fucking Facebook friends to that group. And if you don't have 500 friends, you go ask one of your fucking friends to add their friends. So everyone have a great night. And get that fat in ya!